What's going on guys? Welcome back and today I'm going to be reviewing the um, Millennium Falcon Microfighter and the Dragster, the free Dragster Polybag that comes with orders of $35 or more on lego.com. You saw my haul yesterday, you know why I'm reviewing this set. Um, I was This set was a complete surprise to me, the Millennium Falcon Microfighter, so let's get into the minifigure of that set, which was indeed Chewbacca himself. Now, it's, it's a little bit strange that it doesn't come with Han Solo, because I think that he's probably less of a common figure now than Chewbacca. He's probably become more common than Han. But Chewie looks pretty good here. Um, he does, as you can see, have leg printing um, on him. So he has the little fur leg printing there. Very nice paint applications. He has this kind of crossbow piece, as well as his... Sorry about the camera there, um, but you can see he has kind of a little bit of teeth there, and his eyes um, as well. Mine has a little bit of smudging on the eyes, which is a little bit disappointing, but he looks okay overall. Nice bandolier there. There's the back print. So overall, a very nice minifigure, and here's just a quick look at him with better lighting, if, if that helps. I don't think that really helps, but... Um, there's Chewie. I think that actually makes it worse for the figure viewing, so I'm just going to turn that off. But, there's Chewbacca. Moving on to the set itself, we have the Millennium Falcon Microfighter here. So I really like the build. It's It was really cool. I really like micro builds and how they like use creatively different pieces. Like, this is a droid, astromech droid head here for the window, which I like that piece usage. There's a little slope here for the window. And you can just kind of sit Chewie on like that kind of window side of the Falcon. So that's a nice little bit there. You have these kind of lights at the front. Uh, this little piece here kind of can, can swivel up and down there. Um, you have stud shooters on the top. So we'll just shoot this guy here. So you know how stud shooters work. I'm never going to find those again. Um, but there's... I, it's, it's supposed to be the Force Awakens um, Millennium Falcon I heard. Because it has like the, the red coloring on it. So... I don't really care, I was just happy to finally get the Falcon, because I really wanted the one back in the day and missed out on it. Because I heard it was the, Millenni or the Millennium Falcon from The Force Awakens, because it has this square radar dish and the red coloring. At the back you can see there are the blue boosters, which is a very nice attention to detail. I'm glad they added in the blue boosters on the back there. There's the side, there's this front, and they do build it differently on both sides, because obviously the sides are different. So you can have to do 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 but yeah, um, it's it's a very awesome set, and I really recommend it. It's a very nice build as well. Like I really love micro builds and how creatively they use the bricks and the shaping. Like you can kind of see the skeleton there and the slider plate, so it slides easily on flat surfaces. I really like it, and um, I think it's great. Chewy's good too, but for some reason mine has a little bit of paint smudging. There you can see the seat. But now we're gonna get on to the drag racer. So. The Drag Racer is, it's a very plain buildy, it's a, buildy? It's a very plain buildy, apparently. <laughs> but, um, you can see this, uh, little spoiler at the back that can, not a spoiler for the movie, there's not, this doesn't have a movie, but, um, it's not a spoiler for The Last Jedi. SPOILER! No, I'm sorry, um, but you can see these kind of, uh, droid arms in gray kind of making this kind of spoiler thing go out, and you can make it look weird like that, it's like, I'm gonna shovel snow, but, um, you can bring that up like that. You have this kind of engine on the back um, there. Lots of kind of engine detail there. You have larger wheels in the back, small wheels in the front, and a nice red and black color scheme. I like the front. It's nice and flat. A entirely black steering wheel, which isn't too common. And we're going to take a look at that minifigure. Now, this minifigure is nothing really special. Like, he's a pretty common face print. Like, a lot of the old LEGO City sets had this kind of smiling face expression, uh, but it's still a nice happy face to get, and he has this like red helmet, which is also relatively useful, I actually think I might use that for my Spider-Man Homecoming minifigure, or the homemade suit minifigure, um, the legs are plain white, gray hands, oh he does have back print, so the only really great thing about him is his torso print, which is a very nice, is it, no it's not the same print on both sides, the flames don't go as high on the other side, so, it's a very, like, it's a generic city minifigure, but I like the torso print, and he's just a, 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 like a fine little guy to add to your collection. So, overall, the poly bag is nothing great, but I'd, I'd say it's a 
very good like little build um for like just just for getting something extra for like rewarding yourself for paying thirty five dollars for it. So overall, getting or, or sorry, uh, overall great sets. I recommend the Millennium Falcon. It's just a little extra thing if you get for thirty five dollars this uh, drag racer. That's what it's for. So I'll give the drag racer a B plus. I think it's or actually no, I'll give it a B. I'll give the, it a B. It's a it's a fine build and the minifigure's fine, but it's just it's it's more of just fine. Like it's not like it's good, but it's not great. So it's just kind of a generic little build and it's it's just something extra that you get with it, you get an extra minifigure and a little build to spare for paying thirty five dollars, which it, it feels kind of rewarding. So it's nice to get that. Definitely not as good as the Lego City Police Helicopter Polybag that I got last year. And then the Millennium Falcon, I'm going to give it an A. Uh, I think it's a great build. Uh, good for kids who want a Millennium Falcon that's not $900 like the UCS one. My gosh, that set's overpriced. But, and Chewie's good too. It's my first, like, updated Chewbacca from the 2005 version. Like, the old one with, like, the reddish brown. And I think he's pretty good. It's a little bit smudged on mine, but I think it's great. Love the creative part usage of the Millennium Falcon. So I'm going to give the Millennium Falcon an A and the Polybag Drag Racer a B. So... That's my rating on the set. I hope you pick uh, the Millennium Falcon up, and if you get the Drag Racer, if you pay $35 or, or more on LEGO.com, um, enjoy it. And it's nice to get uh, kind of a reward for paying money to uh, get LEGO sets. So, uh, um, that's it for my review here. I'll be expecting a review for the General Grievous Combat Speeder soon. I hope, enjoy I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.